What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down the incorrect way to run a fade route. So we're going to be talking about this slide release here from Chase Clip. We're going to be talking about what the mistakes are that he makes on this specific route, why the DB is able to cover this thing, and why the quarterback does not have much space to throw him open and to give him like a 50-50 ball opportunity. So I hope this video helps you guys out and it teaches you a few things about route running and how you guys can create space when you are running a goal line fade. But also, fellas, if you have not heard, we are going to be coming to nine different states this offseason with our camp tour starting in Florida on January 8th and January 9th. Then we're going to be coming to Phoenix, Arizona, Houston, Texas. Then we're also going to be coming to Newark, New Jersey, um, Atlanta, Georgia, Chicago. We're going to be coming to Dallas as well. We're going to be coming to Tennessee and Nashville, LA, all nine different locations. So if you guys are local to those areas and want to come out for a two-day quarterback, wide receiver, and DB training camp, spots are limited and they're starting to fill up because we just started promoting it. Check out that very first link in that description below. Let's get back to this video. So we're looking at this slide release here. Now, the one mistake Claypool makes is on like actually after the slide because the slide is a great thing to use right so he gives him every DB like every DB expert quote unquote loves to talk about this slide release and how anytime you should see it you should sit to the inside so this is like actually not a bad release to go with in this situation because if we slide to the outside like this that looks a lot like what that looks a lot like a slant anytime we're running a goal line fade anytime we're running a fade in general we want to make this thing look like I'm trying to take an inside route trying to take a slant what have you right so when Claypool slides out to this space here he's in a good range he's in a good spot that DB's saying discipline because he does not want to give up the slant and he is inside shade. When he's inside shade, he's not going to give up that inside. So he's going to try to be as disciplined as possible and not commit on the fade. So I like the release. Now the one mistake that he made that kills a lot of receivers, especially on even a fade route where you guys are like on the 50 yard line going in and, you, and it's like a deep fade, like a four verts fade, they look back too quick for the ball, right? You got to make sure that we get the separation before I start to, before I look back for the ball because if you're open, you got to keep the separation essentially, right? That quarterback wants to throw you open. I think this is a poorly placed ball by the quarterback as well. This ball should be going right for that back pylon. I think this ball should be catch, put it to the pylon, let Claypool keep his head down and go run back for this thing. But because he starts to look back too early, that gives that DB time to recover. He's in that oh shit mode that we love to talk about. He got beat. He knows he got beat. So he is trying as hard as he can to make that recovery on the ball. And if I start to look back as a receiver, guess what? I'm naturally slower. I pop my chest up. So if you guys are, let's say this is like the 50 yard line right here. And let's say you got to press DB inside shade. A lot of DBs will work a release or receivers will work a release. Then they get like three yards off and they start looking back for the ball. You got to get your head down and you got to go get some separation first. And same thing applies on the goal line. Keep your head down, widen the distance from this DB. So if it is a jump ball, at least I have some space. And if it is thrown to the back pylon, I could go run this thing down and chase this thing. So make sure, fellas, on any fade route, we get the separation, but we keep the separation. Don't look back for that ball too soon. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Dr great job by Claypool with the slide release, but we just got to make sure that we don't look back too early to give that DB a chance on the ball. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as I can. Always appreciate the feedback. And again, fellas, if you're in one of those nine states that we talked about, we're coming to Tampa, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, Houston, and Dallas, Texas, Newark, New Jersey, Atlanta, Georgia, all the states that we listed earlier in this video, and you want to come out and get some great work in us. We're for two days. We're having two day camps in all of those states. Check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.